Hello friends and welcome to today's video. I'm so glad that you've joined me. We are going to see seven plus real life fall outfits for women over 50. Now I'm really trying to make this video practical and meet you where you live. This video is really targeted to women over 50, but I think everything that I've created here, younger women can enjoy wearing too. But what I've done is I have created outfits that really fit the lifestyle of so many of my readers and viewers, women over 50. You're gonna see that the activities, the outings that I've kind of taken into consideration as I've planned these outfits and hopefully they're really gonna work for you. Welcome to the channel. This is Dress For My Day and my name is Kay Harms. I am so glad that you are here. If this is your first time, a special welcome to you. I try to encourage and inspire and really equip women over 50 to get dressed for our day so that we can really continue to show up in a big way. Whether you're retired or you're still in the workforce like I am, maybe you work from home like I do, maybe you're out in the world working or uh, contributing through volunteer work or just activities with your church and things like that. I want us to still show up, look stylish and contemporary so that we can have a positive influence on those around us. I upload videos every Wednesday and I hope you'll join me consistently. Let's get going on those outfits. Now I have one for every day of that of the week and I think one or maybe two days I have uh, two outfits because I thought you might wear two outfits in one day. I do that sometimes, so maybe you will too. We're gonna start with Monday and we're gonna kick this off with a really fun activity. We're gonna see an outfit that I would wear to maybe a matinee movie because you know when you're over 50 and you can, you go to these afternoon movies that are like maybe they have senior adult prices. So you go to an afternoon movie, then you have an early dinner somewhere. So it's really casual. So what I've worn here is just one of my favorite new sweaters from Talbot's. This is a pretty floral, an autumn floral cashmere sweater from Talbot's. You could have wore, of course, wear any sweater that works for you. I do like a print here because I've worn it under this faux leather jacket. I'm just wearing jeans and my mules. These are my sand colored mules here. You could wear booties if it's already cool where you are and you need Need something more substantial on your feet. I've kept my jewelry kind of elevated and sparkly and fun for the day because this is a date after all, so I want to look really extra pretty. I love the way the colors work here in this outfit. I've kept my jeans kind of a medium wash. The sweater kind of has a, you know, a medium tone, medium intensity to it, and my shoes are, I'd consider them light or medium intensity too. And then that jacket is once again a medium intensity. So I've really got very low contrast intensity here. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, I've done a video about how to use contrast and intensity to create the best outfits for your particular coloring, what works best for you. And I'll give you a link to that video up here and also down in the description box below. But I really loved how this worked. Now you'll notice the one splash of high intensity I have here is in my handbag. And I am carrying a brand it's a suede and corduroy type clutch. This is from Jay McLaughlin. Um, I like this because when I go to a movie, sometimes it's nice just to have a handbag that you can kind of tuck to your side or maybe even keep in your lap. And when you go out to dinner, once again, it's nice just to be able to put it behind you in the seat. And adding a clutch is just one way to elevate your outfit to feel a little date appropriate, just feel special and unique. And I love being able to do that. Now for Tuesday, I've planned a work from home look because on Tuesdays, that's what I do. I work on my videos all day. I edit this video all day long on Tuesdays. And so I'm pretty much a slave to my desk. And I know many of you also work from home or maybe you're retired. And so what you do is at home. So I've created an outfit here that is very typical of what I wear on Tuesdays. And that is some comfortable knit pants from Talbot's. These, I can't remember the name of these, like maybe perfect knit pants or something. They are so comfortable. They come in several colors. I have them in black. I think I have them in gray from last year too. I haven't pulled them out yet. And they may come in navy and maybe some other color too. They do have zipper pockets there kind of towards the front, but they really lay nice and flat. 
They have a nice flat elasticized waistband on them. And I just think these pants are so comfortable and yet they look really neat and sharp. And so I've topped them here with a nice, just a really nice budget friendly blue sweater. It's from the Caslon brand at Nordstrom. And I recently picked it up. It's so soft. You could put a tank underneath this if you needed to for warmth, but I, I wouldn't need to do that right now. And I've added my black patent leather uh, loafers from Paul Green. They're a couple, maybe two or three years old now. So I'll link you to some that are similar, both maybe some Paul Green ones that are so, so comfortable. They're my favorite shoe line. Or also list you those some below in the description box that are more economical and more budget friendly. So just a very simple outfit. I had a YouTube follower reach out to me recently through email and she asked me, Kay, what should I wear at home during the day when I'm not going anywhere? This is what I wear at home when I'm not going anywhere. I want to look presentable enough to answer the door for anybody who might show up and feel good about myself and even invite them in <laughs> if, if I feel so inclined. And I also want to be able to just, you know, pick up my bag and head out the door for lunch with my husband if he wants to do that or something. So something like this looks very comfortable, but also really sharp. I keep my jewelry really simple on these days. I don't want to wear a bracelet because I'm at the computer a lot. So I do have on my Fitbit because that keeps me getting up out of my chair throughout the day to at least walk around the house, maybe even take a quick walk down the road. And I have on some simple earrings, that's all. Now for Wednesday, I've put together a really cool outfit to wear to go do something fun with my daughter. If she lived locally, <laughs> I would certainly do that. And when da Abigail and I do get together, we like to get out for a girl's day. And this is the kind of outfit I would wear. I know that many of my readers and viewers have adult daughters or daughters-in-law. Maybe you like to spend a day with them going to lunch, maybe to get your nails done or just do a little shopping. So I've worn a pretty skirt that I recently picked up at Ann Taylor. I love the skirt. It's just so flirty and feminine looking, really sweet. And I've topped it with a brown sweater. The skirt is lavender with brown detailing in it. And so I have in my closet this brown frame sweater. They've actually come out with a long sleeve version now. This one's a kind of a, an elbow length version. But any brown sweater would work here. I think Ann Taylor also has some pretty lavender tops you could pair with this too though. And then just throw on a denim jacket. This is definitely the kind of day, the kind of activity that I would want to wear a denim jacket. Now, what do you do for footwear in the fall with a skirt? I kind of think you go bare leg and you could either wear some pretty pointy toe flats, but I like booties with it. I think it keeps the outfit really modern and fresh. Now, I really struggled with which booties to wear too. I do have some deep chocolate brown booties, but the shaft is kind of high on those. And so, although I do think it worked, I didn't sh bother to video it, I do think it worked. It kind of chops things up a little bit and it maybe looked a little too edgy for me. So, I went with my sand colored booties here, the kind of taupe or sand. They kind of, you know, mi mix in with my leg a little bit more and elongate that look. But really, you really could wear chocolate brown booties or these, you know, something in a sand color, a nude color works nicely too. Now, of course, later in the winter, I've already ordered some chocolate brown knee length boots from Ann Taylor uh, when they were 40% off and hopefully they'll go and sell out that again to wear with this skirt because I do think knee high boots are going to look really great with this skirt. Last year I bought a skirt from Ann Taylor and I styled it for every season of the year. The, the went the Fall style is coming up in a blog post next week. And I plan to do the same thing with this one. I love a skirt that you can wear all year round. I think you could definitely do that with this one. For Thursday, I created an outfit that I would wear to go to lunch with friends. Now this is something that you could wear really to so many different types of things. Maybe, for instance, I go to Bible study on Thursday mornings and I would definitely wear this outfit. Maybe I'll wear that this week even. This looks really good. So this is just a jeans outfit with a pretty blouse 
and a jacket. So I really kind of thought about, you know, lunch with your friends, lunch with the ladies. And so this blazer is from Ann Taylor. It's a chocolate brown, it's a ponte knit, so it's got lots of stretch, it's really comfortable, so smart, and yet really simple and comfortable. The blouse is lined in a dark chocolate lining underneath. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it, just so many pretty colors. In fact, it has this soft kind of a turquoise blue in that blouse, and that's why I chose to carry this blue, turquoise blue handbag or shoulder bag with me for that day. I'm wearing this with some dark wash jeans. These jeans are from Chico's. I'll see if I can link some similar. They may still even have these. And my chocolate brown booties are tucked up underneath my straight leg jeans. Now the reason this outfit looks so great in my estimation is that it contrast and intensity is really low. And so it really works nicely together other than the bag because the bag does add a splash of color but you're not always carrying your bag or holding onto your bag. So that's quite okay. Add a little bit of sparkle, some a little bit more sparkle to that pretty blouse with just just a little bit of a chain, a gold chain underneath at the neck. Some pretty brush gold earrings that are from Nordstrom. I can give you a link to those. Most everything I'm showing today is still available, hopefully. So I'll link you to a lot of things today. Be sure and check the description box below for all those links. So I just really love the way this pulled together. Now, if you wanted to just switch it up to have a girl's evening out, maybe you could maybe add some brown pumps if you have those or just some other kind of pumps and this cute gold clutch or any kind of a gold bag or clutch if you have some something that's just fun. That's just a great way to elevate an outfit. The same outfit I'd wear to lunch, I could then wear out to dinner with friends and just to look a little bit more festive. On Fridays, about once a month, James and I like to get out and go to some nearby Ohio or even Indiana or Kentucky town and just explore a new part of our area of the country. We kind of call it our Explore Ohio Day, <laughs> but we do get out into neighboring states as well. It's just a fun day with my husband to get out and maybe stroll through a downtown or explore a, a park nearby or even nearby in Cincinnati somewhere. There's so many fun places to go. So this is definitely the kind of outfit that I do do wear on those outings. These are my travel pants from Talbots. I've had these over a year now and I truly do travel in them. I've done airplane travel in them and lots of car travel in them. They are so comfortable, but they look like nice pants. They have zipper pockets there at the front and they are just really comfortable. They do have a zipper and a snap and a button, but they're also elasticized in the way. So honestly, you can just pull them up and down without undoing them even. I find them to run true to size. I love these pants. They also come in an ankle length. I have those too, but as we're getting into cooler months, I think you might want the longer ones. And I just think they're really, really nice for travel. I've just topped them here with a top that I picked up recently at Ever Eve. I think this is so modern looking. It's a polo top that's ribbed and fits close to the body, but it's fitting true to size here. I'm wearing a medium and I've got lots of room, lots of give in it. It stretches such a comfortable outfit. So it's perfect for travel. It feels great, but it also looks really sharp. It's gonna look good in those pictures that James takes of me as we're out and about. I'm wearing my black uh, Paul Green loafers again. Just keeping this really simple, I could take my black backpack or even just a black shoulder bag. Now Saturday, I've created a kind of a day in the park look. I'm just imagining I don't have grandkids yet um, or any nieces or nephews close by or grandnieces or grandnephews, I guess it would be close by, but I do have some children in our church and we would like to try to get out and catch their soccer games, their football games, whatever they might have going on. James was able to do that a few weeks ago. I didn't get to go, but this is the kind of outfit I would wear for a Saturday in the park rooting on those grandkids or your neighborhood kids or whoever. So the first way I'm showing you this though is just with some distressed jeans. They're minimal distressing. This is the Caslon brand from Nordstrom. These are really budget-friendly jeans and I just think they're really sharp and also comfortable. But I'm wearing the Frank and Eileen Johnny Collar popover top here. This is a nice, like a jersey knit, you know, well, I don't know if it's a cotton knit, I guess. 
uh, fabric. It's it just a yummy, yummy top for Saturdays, whether you're at home or you're out and about. Johnny collars are really in right now. You may be noticing that. Um, I'm going to be showing a couple more actually in just a minute here, but I love this Johnny collar top and they also just recently came out with a triple fleece top that is similar, but it's going to be have more heft to it. So it's great for the winter months. It's more like a sweatshirt, like an elevated sweatshirt. And it, of course it has a, it's very roomy. It's fitting true to size here. I'm wearing a medium. This is kind of pricey, but I might could find you some that aren't quite as pricey. I'm going to look. So check down the description box below. Now you could pop over a jacket. This is just a quilted jacket from Talbot's last year. I'll see if there's something similar for this year. And then I'm wearing my New Balance sneakers from J. Crew. I think they're still available at least in a few sizes. Now I swapped all this out though, keeping that Johnny Collar white popover top on with some joggers because actually I love wearing joggers even out and about. I know some of my viewers might prefer to keep them at home, but these joggers from Talbot's look really polished. I don't, I feel like I feel very comfortable even in my 58 year old body <laughs> in them. And I don't feel like they, you know, show all my lumps and bulges and everything. I thought like they look very polished here. I've got on uh, my white leather sneakers and I've added a vest. This is a puffer vest. I think it's from Bernardo from last year. I'll see if there's something similar to link you to. And I'm showing it here with my Athleta bag. You could wear it as a um, belt bag. You can wear this, of course, as a crossbody or just pick it up and go. It's just one of those nice little travel bags that I have from Athleta. I just think it's a great option for a Saturday out. Now Sunday, I thought you might want to wear a dress to church. I honestly, our church is a small home church, so I rarely wear a dress to church on Sundays anymore. But if you do like to wear a dress to church, I think you might like this Draper and James dress from Kohl's. And I'll actually be showing this in, on the blog again tomorrow with two other dresses that are also Draper and James dresses from Kohl's, but I chose really, this is my favorite one. This one is blue. It's a bright, pretty blue, but still looks so fall appropriate. It is a true wrap dress and wrap dresses are almost universally flattering on women. This one is just, it's very comfortable. It's a ponte or a kind of a knit, you know, that just that really soft knit and it just looks gorgeous. I've worn it here with some blue suede pumps, but you could of course wear it with flats or nude pumps also. Now Sunday evening for my final outfit, or actually this is kind of like two, I thought you might want to get out and about, do something, maybe go to dinner with friends, maybe go to dinner with your husband, just get out and do something fun for maybe late afternoon, evening on Sundays. And here's what I would wear. These are light wash jeans from Talbot's. They're full length straight jeans. And I've topped them here with a camel sweater that I got from J. Crew at the end of the summer. This is a cotton sweater, but they have similar sweaters now that are um, I think more of a knit. And this one is camel. It had, once again has that Johnny collar, which is so popular. I just love them because they create that V neck line, but they also add a collar that's got that interest. So I'm loving these sweaters. I've tried to kind of create a really soft look here and I added this coat that I recently picked up at Nordstrom. This is a North Face jacket. It's a quilted jacket. It, it has some heft to it, but it's very lightweight. You know, during this time of the year, you're looking for those lightweight jackets that don't make you feel like you're really more like winter appropriate, but it's just something nice for the fall. And I think this one definitely fits the bill. I kept the coloring really nice by keeping all the tones soft here, soft to medium. I'm wearing my sand suede booties and just some simple jewelry. Now, in case you though, just really want some color, I did do the same look with a colored sweater. So this is kind of a tropical punch, pretty, I don't know, almost a coral pink sweater from J. Crew. It's a cashmere, uh, so it's a little pricier, but it's so pretty and I love this pop of color, but I still, it's soft because it's kind of that heathered pink. So it really works nicely here. So I love the way both of those outfits work for just something fun on Sunday evening. I hope this was practical for you. Let me know if you like this format of just seven or eight outfits. 
you know, designed for a woman over 50 and your lifestyle. And if you did like this, please give me some more ideas of the types of places that you need to wear outfits, especially as we move into the winter months. And maybe I'll create one for winter. Thank you so much for joining me today, ladies. Don't forget that there are links to almost everything I showed you in the description box below. You can click on the title of today's video and it should open up a little bit more below you. And then you may need to click on the word more to open it up further. And that's how you open that description box to see all the links, not only to the items that I've shown, but also to my website, to my Instagram account, my private Facebook group that you need to join, all those fun things. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next week.